friends, it's Father Jay. I'm coming to you today from the parish hall here at Calvary Church. You may say, oh, Father Jay, that looks like a pew that you're sitting in. It is a pew that I'm sitting in. Uh, this pew has been uh, moved out of the uh, church in proper uh, in order to make room for us to be uh, spaced uh, appropriately uh, during this pandemic. Uh, and as we start to transition back into uh, in-person worship, at least in uh, a modified form and at lower numbers to begin with, then uh, you'll, you'll see some of these changes uh, will remain in place to allow us to do that safely uh, and efficiently. And uh, some of the changes uh, will, will likely be uh, permanent changes as well because they help us uh, to connect more closely to one another. Uh, for instance, we'll continue to live stream our services for the foreseeable future. Uh, there's no reason not to. Now that we have the equipment and the know-how, we'll just continue to do that for the foreseeable future. Now, some things, some priorities will, will shift. Uh, as long as we are having very limited numbers in attendance, uh, then we'll continue to put our emphasis on uh, a well-produced version of our online service and uh, the folks who are attending in person will in a sense be our live studio audience um, but as we are able to include more and more people in the service the service will shift the emphasis will shift from being an online service for which people are in attendance in person to uh, an in-person worship service, which uh, is also streamed online. So that, uh, that shift may be, um, that may make sense to you, or you may see uh, how that manifests as we go forward. One of the things that if you come by the church, you are likely to see is that we have put plastic over some of the windows of the nave that doesn't indicate anything about the condition of those windows. It's just that light comes through and makes it a little bit more difficult to get uh, a good uh, video broadcast. But as people start to return to church in significant numbers, uh, we'll probably take that plastic off because it's nice to sit in the church and see the light filtering through the glass. Um, so that's just an example of how some things have changed for the pandemic and will probably change back and other things uh, have changed and, and won't change back. But uh, you'll see all of those as they begin to unfold. Uh, and keep in mind, uh, this is not necessarily according to a... Uh, a plan that we have in place, uh, a master plan that we have uh, in mind for how each and everything will go. This is more of an organic uh, transition as we try to move with the ebb and flow of the situation that we're in. Uh, the situation that we're in at the moment, as far as the numbers are concerned, the numbers of uh, active cases, it is as a percentage of the total population, uh, as well as the number of new cases per 1,000 residents, or excuse me, 100,000 residents. Uh, both of those numbers look very good. And if the patterns continue to hold that are in place now, uh, we'll be in good shape to begin in-person worship on Palm Sunday. 
I do have to say there are a couple of indicators, particularly in Henderson County, that are um, showing a slight upward trend. Uh, so please uh, be sure to continue to be vigilant um, wherever you are, but particularly in Henderson County, and uh, encourage your friends and neighbors to do the same. Uh, I, it has been exciting to hear from a number of you about your interest in uh, in-person worship once that resumes. Uh, I assume that that uh, is because many of you may have received uh, a COVID-19 vaccine uh, at this point and uh, Good for you for taking that step. Um, we will uh, publish information about how to register for in-person services on our website just as soon as we have that information available. We are uh, investigating registration uh, mechanisms to make sure we have one that uh, is simple and easy to use and is accessible for everyone uh, and works well, uh, serves all of our purposes. And when you go to sign up, if the spaces are full, please go ahead uh, and add your name. Whatever system we use, we'll be sure to include in there um, a wait list function so that um, if we don't have enough space in a given service, we can look at adding additional services uh, during the day or during the week. Um, so, and we wanna be able to do that. So, so please let us know your interest even if a space is not available. Um, the one thing that we are, um, are not gonna be able to do, um, partially because we are fairly confident it's not allowed by law is to keep a record of who is or is not vaccinated. So whether or not you are um, uh, allowed or given space to attend a particular service will not depend on your vaccination uh, status. We will assume that um, everyone who attends um, has not yet been vaccinated and will take the proper uh, precautions to make sure that it's safe for everyone, um, whether you are vaccinated or not. Um, the whole uh, point or the whole uh, reason for uh, Paul's letter to the Corinthians or his letters to the Corinthians, uh, were that they were worshiping on an unequal basis. There were people who had more resources and therefore um, enjoyed one status within the community. And there was another group with a different set of resources that had a different status within the community. And Paul was um, very concerned about that trend in the church of Corinth. And that's why he was writing to them to say, when we come together to worship, we are all one people. We are all one body. And the body must care for all of its members. Therefore, um, in keeping with the teachings of Paul, we will be concerned for the whole body that gathers with us and will take the precautions necessary at every service to make sure that the whole body is safe. Um, so we look forward to having the opportunity to worship together uh, just as soon as we can. Uh, as a reminder, we will have our first opportunity for in-person worship on Palm Sunday, which is March the 28th. Uh, and then we will have services in person during Holy Week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, those will be at noon. 
uh, Thursday, that will be in the evening, probably about 7 o'clock. Uh, Friday, Good Friday, again at noon. Holy Saturday at noon. And then on Easter Sunday, we'll have a sunrise service beginning at 6.45 a.m. That'll be outdoor, uh, outdoors out by the labyrinth. And then we'll have a traditional uh, festal Eucharist uh, at 1030 on Easter Sunday. Uh, we will keep uh, putting out information about these services, so please stay tuned. And between now and then, uh, I pray that God will bless you and keep you, that God's face will shine upon you and give you peace, both now and in the days to come.